Uh oh. We might have trouble. Shooting at me. That sucks. What's up guys, Sky Kevin here, and today we're going back to the classic Season 4 servers, because today is Season 2 of LO Classic that just released. So let's get into it. Right now, as you can see, there's about 200 players on the classic server. They've got a couple of tiles with 12 and 6 man clan caps, for both EU and North America. I think I'm going to start in Windy Breach on the 6 cap. And we set my name as Sky Kevin and we're good to go. All right, so we're going back to the oasis here. Let's see how many people are on the uh, map currently. Ah, uh, yes, there's no player count anymore. And the trick here is to make sure that you chamber every single hit with your fists. Slow on that one. Ah, oh, he got me. All right, let's go back for round two and see what happens. Okay, so that's a pretty cool thing. You can do slash pop and see how many players are currently online for that tile. All right, we'll take care of this rupee. There we go. No, that. We need to start getting some fragments so that I can have basic gear. Okay, I think a priority for me is to make the grappling hook, hatchet, and some bandages. Okay, we've got my first walker built, and it's time to go out and collect myself a bunch of fragments. I should probably use this opportunity to spec out my stats. I find with Season 4 mechanics, it's always good to have as much damage as possible, and then we'll do health as well. I think my main priority right now should be trying to get all the crafting stations necessary and being able to build a dinghy walker. Okay, we just need a few more fragments and we'll be able to unlock the dinghy walker and I can build that right away. I'd also like to be able to build a belang, and that way I'll be able to set up a base as well. God, I should probably unlock the sickle so that I can harvest a lot of these rupee vines. Might be a wise idea to unlock the pickaxe as well, but I think I'll deal with that later. I think my priority right now should just be getting a dinghy walker and upgrading it. Down into the canyon we go. Actually, I just realized I need cactus in order to make the water. Luckily, we do have some cactus plants down below here. Might as well grab some thorn berries while I'm at it as well. Alright, now that we've built the dinghy, I've put some more stations on here and we're ready to actually go out and get back into the fragment grind. But I think I'll take care of this camp first before I do that. Oh, a special custom rupu called Zarvako. I don't like that a lot of my hits keep glancing off of him because of his armor. Alright, that was a little bit difficult and not very many good rewards from him, but that's okay. Oh god, these rupu can throw rocks. And they're gunning me down from behind this boulder. That's not good. Oh, come on, really? So even in Elo Classic, the ranged Rupu are still going to hit you. I guess right now it would be a good idea to go up here and heal up first. It seems like they made these camps harder with more Rupu. Oh, perfect. I got a rawbone hand axe. All right. The final ones have been taken care of. Feels weird not looting the center shrines anymore in the Rupu camps. 
I will say I'm a little disappointed that a lot of the glass jar loot that comes from these camps hasn't really been edited as far as I can tell. You can only get so much stone, wood, and fiber from these jars before it seems rather pointless to even harvest them. I get doing these camps in order to get the Rupu gel and the fragments, but other than that, it seems like you're not really going to get all that much useful. All right, we are going to unlock better bandages as well as that way we can make water on mass with our walker. We're going to get small chests and we're going to make it so we can build a base. Better make sure I select this as my spawn point as well. I feel like I need to figure out my priorities here. So now that I've got my walker up and running, I should probably look at getting a base. It looks like there's a stiletto walker right in front of me. We're going to do our best not to tango with them right away. Let's just head out into the desert and start looking for more fragments. Let's thank you very quickly here so that I can get a backpack. What's up, dude? Olana, nerd team six. Wow. Looks like you didn't want to fight me. That's good news. He certainly had better gear and I would not have been able to fight with just a raw bone hand axe. I'm starting to get a little self-conscious because I still haven't been able to get a base down. Finding those fragments is continually frustrating. It would be nice to unlock a medium wood base and just keep that with my walker. One of the other key changes they made in this version is you can no longer pack the stone bases. I think my priority right now is to build a base, upgrade my walker, get some good gear that I can start building. You know, it's interesting when it comes to bandages. On season 5, you use brown bandages primarily, and then the white bandages whenever you're in a special PvP fight or something like that. In this season, it seems like brown bandages really aren't worth it ever. And you should always just get primitive bandages the moment they're unlocked. Alright, we have the ability now to build a light wood base. We should probably do that to start, just so that we have some form of protection within the walker, in case somebody does come and decide to raid my boat. I don't imagine people will have tons of fire arrows right now, so I can make my base at least somewhat difficult to raid. I'm gonna go take a look at what the trader merchants have on them as well. There might be something useful I can buy with flots. Okay, I guess you can buy tablets or fragments. Maybe I'll spend my flots on fragments right now. It'll save me a lot of grinding in the future. Oh, you can sell fragments for five. You have to buy them for ten. Oh, might as well. Uh-oh. Like we've got our first challenger here. I guess in this case I passed the vibe check. Okay, well now that we can make the hardwood base, it's probably time I do that and pack it into my walker. I'm gonna need a lot of wood and bone splinter. I'll have to go back into the oasis. I have the ability to build a base. Medium chests are a great idea as well. Actually, I think the most important thing I make right now is rope. I unlock rope. Unlock armor as well. First though, let's start gathering some wood and bone splinter to make our base. I'm gonna need to make a lot more wood shafts as well. One of the biggest things I hate about Season 4 of Last Oasis is the fact that you can only put a certain amount of modules on your walker based on the quality of the walker. Generally when it comes to the quality grind of your walker, you have to have all the tools necessary to get that 100 quality stuff you can get a 100 quality walker in order to have enough module slots just to customize it to be that specific type of walker. I think in this case, as a solo player, there's no way I'm going to get more than a quality one walker, so the only other way to do it is using flots to upgrade it, which becomes very expensive per module. It doesn't ever really become worth it when you can just do it with quality resources. This is a huge advantage to large groups because they already have people with 100 quality tools, you can go around and get those specific resources and collect them together. I think this is one of the strengths of Season 5 in that you have just the four different tiers of quality, and in order to get them, you really just have to go into the quality event tiles to get it. I think it's a lot simpler and a lot better, in my opinion, for Season 5. Especially given the overpoweredness of using those types of modules. For instance, I could pack my entire base on my walker, but I would need the 10 pack mule modules in order to do so. I think in this case, it would be nice if they balanced that. 
All right, now that we've put down the maintenance chest, we need to make sure we have some resources in there so the base doesn't decay. And we need to gather a bit more to finish it off. All right, now we can start collecting stuff en masse and throwing it in the base there. I'm feeling a lot better about my stuff being protected as long as it's within my walker and within my base. It'll take quite a lot of fire arrows for them to get in from that. Able to unlock rope, and let's get some of the gear unlocked, unless there's anything else that I'm missing. I'm not quite sure how you're supposed to make fire arrows yet, though. I have them unlocked. Though I think I do. But honestly, the amount of fragments you get from doing these is pretty worthless. Should probably aim for crafting bone spike swords as soon as possible. Well, that's cool. You can get proxy licenses. Probably sell all my water. Have so much of it. All right, 162 water for 1620 plots. Bad. And now we've unlocked the Bone Spike Sword, which means we can produce those en masse and we can start building up our armor. Now it still looks like Forester's Armor is the way to go, so I should probably just aim for that right away. Forester's Armor with the sandal and the sleeves. I hope I can get lucky and find a trader, and that way I'll be able to trade in all these slots for more fragments. And it'll make my grind just that much easier. And with that, we can get Forster's armor. But we're still going to need the gloves and the boots. Now I have to make an assumption here. I can either go for the triple stitch, which is clearly better, but much more difficult to make. Triple stitch gloves and boots require pearls, hide, and cotton. Oh, well, in that case, really my only option are the Rupu fur equipment. But I'm going to need more beeswax for that. It's difficult to come by. In best case scenario, I should probably make the Rupu fur armor. I only have enough for our first bone spike sword, which is good news. It's probably a good idea to drop some of this stuff off in the base as well. I'm only just now realizing. I'm running out of rupu Of course, we're going to need bone glue if we're going to be able to make the heavier raw bone hand axe for extra harvesting. Well, let's leave all the rest of that in here and pack everything up. All right, so it's time for us to make a lot of rope. And I might as well use the fiber that I have to make a couple of fiber hand axes. All right, we got some more fragments, which is good. A couple of repair hammers, not bad idea. And let's head into the oasis to kill some more Rufu. All right, so we have eight sets of Rufu fur sleeves, eight sets of sandals, head wraps. Now we just need to make the bone spike swords and the armor. I'm going to learn a few more key recipes while I'm at it. All right, we are good. You know, I realized I have an excess amount of bandages, so I thought, it might be a good idea for me to go through now and make a whole bunch more using all this aloe. Maybe I farmed a bit too much of it. I'm hoping there's going to be a reasonable number of cattails in this water here. Alright, so now we have a whole couple stacks of cattails. All we need left is the bone glue, which I'm going to need to put some wood in there. A couple more bone spike swords are equipped there. Now just the bone glue for Forester's armor. Got all that. Bone glue is cooking. We can replace all that in there. Great. I think overall we're doing pretty good. I'm ready to do as, at least as much melee PvPing as anyone else. You know at this point, I think production has really started to take off. So I have to decide what I'm going to do next. Which probably involves getting the advanced fiber working station and then going from there to get the scythe. Could get lucky and get some earth wax from these rocks. That's a bit frustrating. I'm curious what it takes to build stone buildings. Wood, stone, and wood shafts. Interesting. I guess if I got enough stone, I could start making a stone base as well. I just don't really want to care about the upkeep of it, regardless of whether it's a lot or very little. But I have enough now, so as long as I can make the bone glue. <laughs> so while that bone glue is cooking, focus on what I want to do next, whether it's build a stone base or not. I did also want to check, see if I could build a walker pack or which I only need 25 for, and I'll need some more earth wax as well. I could unlock the stomping station as well, which would be important to do. I've forgotten about it so far because it's used so little in season five. But if I can just get lucky enough here while farming these rocks, I might get enough earth wax where it won't really matter. Or 
unfortunately. My walker's almost overweight. I'm not looking forward to it as well. I think the sad reality I soon have to face is that I'm going to meet my weight limit. From that point on, I'm going to have to either upgrade to a bigger walker, or I'm going to have to put a static base down. Now, seeing as this is season four, I wanted to avoid having a static base. I just don't care for the upkeep, and if I wanted to deal with all that, why wouldn't I just go do that in season five? But at this point in time, I really just feel like I don't have any choice. If I can get just a little bit more earth wax. I'll finally be able to make the Walker Packer place. There we go. We got it. Okay, I think it's time for us to head up from the canyon here. And I might as well build a base while I'm waiting for all this bamboo to cook. Well, the good news is I made it up okay. And I do want to kind of put a base over in this corner. Something right here seems like a good spot because there's a lot of Rupu camps around. It's just right by one of the canyons. That will be easy to access. And it's not too steep for my walkers to pull in and out of whenever I need to. I guess technically the only thing I need to worry about is whether I can wall it all off. But I have the fragments that should be required in order to make stone bases. Make the small walker packer later. And classically, gonna need some wood and fiber. A little more fiber. Make sure I'm constantly crafting more wood shafts as well, because they're quite easy to run out of. Need a quick source of some wood so that I can then finish off this base. I can get the advanced fiber working station and I can start using that. I can already tell this is going to be the most frustrating thing ever. I might end up fixing that eventually. Put that down. Yikes. That door will need to be replaced for sure. For those that are unaware, I'm just getting back on after having been off for a couple of hours, but so far the player population has already gone down to about 50 players online, or from the 200 peak that they had at the launch of this season. Alright, we just have to grab this pull box, and we should have enough fragments to get the base walker packer. Alright, we've got that unlocked, and we're ready to go back to our base and get all that stuff set up. We can go ahead. We need way more wood. I'm gonna place this right in the center here. Make a dome. If I do pack my walker into this right now, it can be insta-killed, so we're not going to do that just yet. We're gonna have to cover that up with stone. Dear God, I need to open the door to this and change it around. Let's make some nomad cloth. Cattail that I harvested before. And while we have the chance, we should probably unlock the stomping station finally. Well, I guess we're gonna have to wait to unlock that one. My biggest issue that I think I'm going to run into right now is I don't quite know how I'm going to fight other players. I mean, I can fight one or two on my deck using melee, but anything more than that and there's no way for me to control my weapons on my walker. There's got to be some other way that I can fight people who decide to board me. Maybe there's a way I can use my ballista and shoot them on my deck? Or maybe scattershot will work. I'm not quite sure yet, and I haven't had any ability to test it. And stone, bone center. Scythe. Alright, we'll worry about organizing this stuff later. Right now, we have to go out and get even more fragments. We'll also harvest a whole bunch of this stuff here, so that we've got plenty of fiber and aloe. Okay, we've got plenty of resources now, and we can start making water all day long, so... It's time to go and farm some more fragments. Might be a good idea to get some Rupu vine while I'm at it too. And now that I think about it, restocking on more cat would be a good idea as well. I should really make sure that I'm crafting bone glue at all times as well. It would be a good idea actually to get that all set up in my base. Probably do that before I leave. Oh, that's not a bad number of fragments from those Rupu. My. Some raw bone malls aren't bad. Well, instead of unpacking that, I can simply use my base. Might be a good idea to move these boxes and organize them a bit better, too. Okay, that's all organized well enough, I'd say. That with wood. Once that finishes cooking the water, it will move on to cooking the bone splinter into bone glue. Probably make sure that we have all of them. All right, I don't know where I got these extra fragments from, but that is perfect because I can finally make a stomping station. Don't necessarily need anything other than a bone spike sword for weapons. I'll make a 
last grappling hook? There's something I'm forgetting. So that question, I don't quite know. Yes, making the armor as well. Bone glue, cattail, and fiber. I do have some cattail. A lot of fiber to make rope. I get armor. Almost got the last piece of rope that we need to make the last bone spike sword. But we will have a full set of all the gear necessary. Plenty of bandages. We're good on that front as well. And we've got some slots that we can use. I think other than that, we're all good to go. There, it's probably a matter of upgrading that. And I have to build up the stone base a little wider as well. Oh yes, a stomping station is also something I need to build. I did unlock it after all. Rupu finds stone and wood shafts. A bit more bone splinter, which apparently I don't have. Allow me to grab that really quick. Could also probably make a cooking pot. Stone. We're gonna have to move some stuff around on this deck so that I can make space for a bigger box. This needs to be moved back a bit so that I can actually rotate fully three, 360 degrees around. Because otherwise, people on my deck are going to be able to juke me very easily. Perfect. Nice. And place the woodworking station in this direction. And now, I should be able to walk through the woodworking station and not get hit by the players. That'll be an option for defense eventually. This is also a build strategy. Eventually I'll make it so that the only way that they can fight me on the front of my ship is if they run down this long hall. And in doing so, it should give me a much clearer shot on them before they can actually reach me. Otherwise, they're going to have to sit and hide at the very end behind that weaving station. Alright, we're good. Now let's get into this camp, kill some Rupus, and then get out of this place. Of a difficult fight, but I think we're doing pretty well so far against him. A lot less glancing blows, which is good. Oh, he even tried to chamber me there. Oh wow, he dropped some clay. Well, that's interesting. I wonder what I could make with this. Hmm. Thinking in my head right now, all the different clay recipes. Obviously there's all the ceramics, but I don't think I can do that until tablets are primarily a thing. But, this means that you can get clay on the medium tiles if you're killing those boss monsters. Slight bit worried that I don't have any water. Hmm. Does one get enough water? I guess I'll just have to keep bandaging my way back to my walker. It's okay, I'll get there eventually. Just like that, I can move once again. Make sure we put a crafting campfire down right there, just in case that happens again. Okay, well, glad that was taken care of. I'm not going to bother with these other camps down here. I think both, both of those look like they've glitched into the rocks, and so it won't be worth it for me to do. Gosh, I need some bone splinter to make on the medium chest. 16 bone splinter a day. Wow. That one medium chest... I'm curious, am I actually able to make clay walls? I am. Interesting. I could make a clay base. Granted, it's going to take a clay for upkeep, so that doesn't sound very enticing to me. I wonder if putting a Rupu sling down would be a good idea. Definitely get some wings unlocked. Some walker climber. Hmm. In order to make walker mechanisms with meteors. Alright, one more large pull, and then we'll probably want to head back. Uh-oh. Did the server just crash? Alright, looks like we're back. Actually, now that I look at it, I may have harvested too much wood. I doubt my walker's going to be able to carry that much. Well then. I hate weight limits so much. Always leads to stuff like this happening. Now I have to make sure that I don't carry too much. Go all the way back to my base. Just so that I can ferry everything back one more time afterward. 
Alright, I guess I'll be back in a little bit. Uh-oh. We might have trouble. I guess. First things first, they immediately jump on you with quite a few players. Five respawns, so we'll see how it goes. We got five players against just me right now. Oh, we'll see how many there are here. Oh god, they're even shooting at me. That sucks. hardest part is that they're also shooting ballistas. It really sucks that I can't grab bandages out of my hold. And they're probably going to be waiting for me on the deck this time. I guess we'll see what happens. Oh god, I can't even recover from it. Two more spawns, we'll see what happens. We're down to our last kit. Well, I guess that's it. <laughs> they decided to jump on my walker. They stole my wood. <laughs> oh, too bad. Oh, they took all my stuff out of my campfire too. on the walker. I didn't even steal my ballista bolts. Alright then. See, the worst thing is that when I was trying to transport that wood, all I needed was to be able to put it on my walker, but instead I had to carry it all in the chest because I couldn't fit the weight of my base in there. That's too bad. It also sucks that I didn't have the stuff that I needed to extend this base out. I would have loved to put an airlock in here. Okay. Nice. 
and X. Hmm. Yeah, let's... Why not? Hmm. Oh, I need to get those repair hammers out as well. Alright. I think the most important thing for me to do now is to expand the stone base. Wood, stone, and wood shafts. Actually, I need to repair this, and I need to build another walker wing as well. Wood shafts, fiber weave. And as soon as we repair. Things don't really go that far. Alright, slowly but surely we're going to repair that wing. As soon as that wing is repaired, we to go. A little more fiber weave, three more fiber weave. And some wood shafts. Alright, we need three fiber weave and then the rest on wood shafts. 18 hole which... Right, and off we go to collect all that wood and stuff that I harvested before. My plan right now should be to focus on just getting my base a little bit bigger so that if that fight happens again, it won't be as difficult. Right, so we land here and pack the 500 pound base. Oh. One station they killed was my stomping station. That's annoying. <laughs> Divine stone and wood shafts. Shafts there. It should be. Oh. And once again, my walker is overweight. Coming up here back to my base, it'll be a simple matter of fixing that walker packer. So next time that I get a fight like that, I can just pack the walker in the base. We have wood shafts, we have plenty of stone, and we have plenty of wood. Space a lot bigger. I'm going to start by putting the walls up on inside of this. Now we need an airlock. Alright, the airlock is complete. The prettiest thing in the world, but it is complete, nonetheless. And while we're at it, Alright, I just need the Forester's Armor again. I think it's probably about time that I finally unlock the hammock bed. Alright, that's all done. Alright, so we have to go to the 12th clan captile, right? Not a bad fight. It's enough for me to buy one belt of scrap. Alright, let's do it. Ah! 
Good fight, sir. Good fight. Oh, thanks for the duels, Hip. Appreciate it. So overall, that was a really good time. Just sitting in the trade station and dueling. I forgot what that feels like. Honestly, it was... <sighs> yeah. It's disappointing that's the most fun that I've had in the last probably five or six hours that I've been playing on the classic servers. So what do we do next is the question. God, placing this down is going to be a nightmare now. There's no way I'm getting that to work. Who tells me that's not happening? Right, so we're not building that on the ship. Give ourselves some tool. Ability. So we need Ruku pelts. And we're not going to. Water storage. Need more fiber for the other ones. Well, now that that's all done, we've got a server restart soon, so might as well just keep farming for a little while. So looking at it right now, it seems like you're not going to be able to make toboggan walkers or mollusk walkers until you can get the, the walking mechanisms. And those will come from the meteors. And that will start happening on the 5th of March. Right. Nobody can get anything bigger than a stiletto until tomorrow. Well, a stiletto probably would be a good idea for me at this point in time. We have 554 hours left in stone base. Oh, server's restarting in one minute, okay. Right, so, thinking about what I need next, I've got a walker that's got bone upgrades. I have pretty much everything I need in order to be as... All right, so, I wanted to see real quick. Bone bolts, 20, I think I have enough for that. I'd like to make some bone bolts so the next time that somebody jumps on my walker, I at least have enough I can start shooting some people with them. I don't have enough fragments, just... Maybe that's what I need to do. Well, I go farming resources or go farming fragments. That is the plan. So far, I've got the farming tools. Alright, we can now unlock the bone bolts. Will be the strongest thing that we can use. Bone splinter, wood shaft, and fiber. Easy. This would be a good idea to put a walker climber on this, finally. You know, at this point, I'm starting to realize that my walker just does not have the weight capacity for me to really go out and farm anything. Alright, well, I think I have enough now that I should probably consider at least building the stiletto. And do I have enough to unlock it, I guess, is the question. Need steering levers for sure. And another 30 fragments. God, I hate farming fragments. From there, I'm going to need a lot more rope. And I think I have everything else that I would need. A lot more rope and maybe some wood shafts. I'm going to unpack the space out here. I don't think it's worth it to put it inside a dinghy. Probably better off if I just have one maintenance chest and use that for extra resource storage that I store inside. Oh, perfect. I can sell some water to this guy. Well, that sure is great. I happen to have 2,000 flots here. 
I'll buy some. Now I'm curious. What's the point of Rupu gel? Oh wow, I got some torque modules. That sure is lucky. One per ten seconds. And the maximum is 50 of them. So realistically, I need 50 of them. I guess technically basswood armor is much, much better since they reworked it that high. We are surrounded by wastes. That's what I need is fury fumes. Okay. Okay, let's see. We're gonna deposit those, we're gonna put those up. And let's sell some of these firebolts. Now I can put another. Two torque modules, not bad. Might as well, right? Yeah, true. Uh, yeah, anyway, man, I'm gonna let you go. Peace. Have a good day. You too. See you later, man. Remember, remember the All right, I guess it's time for me to head back home. I spent a lot longer there than I thought I was going to, that's for sure. Oh, look. A meteor fell. Might as well go take a look, eh? Alright guys, well I think that ends my journey for today. I think I got a lot accomplished and pretty much maxed out my technology in most of my areas, but nevertheless there's going to be meteors that start spawning in the next day or so, and we're going to see what happens with all these other players. I'm still hopeful that I'll get into a good fight, whether it's a 1v1 or 1v2 or something like that, but we'll see because right now it's starting to look like I'm just going to get zerged down by 5 or 6 guys on a stiletto walker every time I go out there. We'll find out soon enough. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.